Did you know that the fastest train ever built in North America was powered by a jet engine? It's true. Back in the swinging 60s while Beatlemania was taking over the world, engineers were experimenting with turbojet technology on trains. The American turbojet train, a marvel of its time, was designed to reach breakneck speeds, with estimates suggesting capabilities between 155 to 217 miles per hour. This was an era of innovation and discovery, a time when the boundaries of technology were pushed like never before. Engineers and scientists were exploring ways to revolutionize transportation, and one of the paths they ventured down was turbojet trains. Despite the challenges, they pressed on, driven by the sheer thrill of innovation and the dream of ultra-high-speed rail travel. This groundbreaking experiment marked the beginning of a new era in rail technology, a legacy that echoes even today as we journey towards the future of transportation. But the story of jet-powered trains didn't start in America. It goes way back to the early 20th century. In 1917, an ambitious Soviet engineer named Valerian Abakovsky took the first step towards marrying the technology of air and rail. His creation, the Aerowagon, an experimental high-speed rail car that was, quite literally, ahead of its time. This innovative invention was powered by an aero engine and a propeller. Imagine a regular train car, but with a propeller sticking out from the back. Sounds like something straight out of a science fiction novel, doesn't it? The aero wagon was designed to transport officials quickly across the vast Soviet Union. It could reach impressive speeds, but its life was cut tragically short. On its test run from Moscow to Tula, it derailed, resulting in the loss of several lives, including its creator, Abakovsky. While the aero wagon's journey ended in tragedy, it marked the beginning of a new era of experimentation in rail transport. Fast forward to 1930, and we find ourselves in Germany, where the Schienen Zeppelin or Rail Zeppelin was taking its first steps, or should we say turns of the wheel. This experimental rail car like the Aero Wagon was powered by a propeller and an aero engine. But the Rail Zeppelin was different. It was sleek, streamlined, and its silver aluminium body made it look more like a Zeppelin airship than a traditional train. The Rail Zeppelin was a speed demon, reaching a top speed of 143 miles per hour or 230 kilometers per hour, setting a world record that stood for over two decades. But despite its speed and innovative design, the rail Zeppelin faced its own set of challenges. Safety concerns due to its exposed propeller and the inability to pull additional cars led to its eventual demise. These experiments, though not entirely successful, paved the way for future research and development. The Aero Wagon and the rail Zeppelin despite their shortcomings, stand as testament to human ingenuity and the relentless pursuit of speed. Fast forward to the 1960s, the Soviet Union took the leap and developed their turbojet train. In a time when the world was advancing at breakneck speed, the Soviets were not to be left behind. They embarked on a daring project to harness the power of jet engines for rail travel. The result was an impressive turbojet train a beast of technology that was far ahead of its time. Built with a focus on speed, the Soviet turbojet train was a marvel. Its design was sleek and aerodynamic with a distinctive pointed nose that reduced air resistance. The train was powered by two jet engines, similar to those found on commercial aircraft of the time. These engines were mounted on the roof of the train, their roaring power propelling it along the tracks at astonishing speeds. The turbojet train was estimated to reach speeds of between 250 to 350 kilometers per hour. That's faster than most high-speed trains today, and this was in the 60s. It was a testament to the engineering prowess of the Soviet Union and highlighted the potential of jet-powered rail travel. However, this ambitious project was shrouded in mystery. The turbojet train was discovered on an abandoned rail line, a relic of a time when the boundaries of technology were pushed to their limits. The circumstances of its abandonment remain unclear, but the train stands as a monument to the daring spirit of the era. Despite the uncertainty surrounding its fate, the turbojet train sparked a revolution in rail technology. It demonstrated the potential for high-speed rail travel, paving the way for the development of modern high-speed trains and maglev technology. 
Despite its eventual abandonment, the Soviet turbojet train remains a testament to the bold and innovative spirit of the time. Jet-powered trains, though fascinating, were not without their challenges. As these technological marvels roared down the tracks, they faced hurdles that were as formidable as the speeds they achieved. One of the most significant challenges was the high fuel consumption. Jet engines, by their very nature, are thirsty beasts. They're designed for speed, not efficiency, and when you're trying to move a train, that's a problem. The turbojet trains of the 60s, for instance, gulped down fuel at a rate that made them economically impractical for widespread use. This high fuel consumption was a major roadblock on the path to making jet-powered trains a viable mode of transport. Safety, too, was a major concern. Trains powered by jet engines presented a unique set of risks. For one, the intense heat generated by the engines could pose a danger to nearby infrastructure, and the high speeds could lead to catastrophic accidents in case of a derailment. The tragic end of the aero wagon is a stark reminder of the dangers posed by these high-speed experiments. Noise pollution was another issue. Jet engines allowed, and a train powered by one would have been an auditory nightmare. Imagine a jet plane taking off, but it's rolling down your neighborhood tracks instead of a distant runway. The noise would have been unbearable for those living near the tracks, and potentially harmful to wildlife in the areas the trains passed through. And then there were the practicality issues. The infrastructure needed to support these jet-powered behemoths was substantial. Everything from the tracks to the stations would need to be designed to withstand the heat, noise and force generated by the trains. These hurdles, however, did not halt progress, but rather fueled further innovation. The challenges faced by jet-powered trains drove engineers and scientists to seek out new solutions leading to the development of the high-speed rail and maglev trains we see today. So while the era of jet-powered trains may be behind us, their legacy lives on in the technology that continues to transform the way we travel. The legacy of these experiments is evident in the high-speed rail lines and maglev trains we see today. The audacious attempts to harness jet engine power for rail transport, despite their challenges, have undeniably shaped the trajectory of modern rail technology. Let's take a moment to appreciate the high-speed trains of our time. These marvels of engineering, capable of reaching impressive speeds, are a testament to the early pioneers who dared to dream of a faster future. The experiments with jet engines on trains laid the groundwork for the development of high-speed rail technology. High-speed trains, such as France's TGV and Japan's Shinkansen, are now a staple in many countries providing efficient and quick transport across vast distances. These trains, while not using jet engines, have incorporated the principles of aerodynamics, a key aspect of jet engine design, into their construction. Then, we have the revolutionary maglev trains. Maglev, short for magnetic levitation, is a technology that uses magnetic fields to levitate trains above the track, reducing friction and enabling higher speeds. This technology, while not directly linked to jet engines, was born out of the same spirit of innovation and quest for speed that propelled the jet train experiments. The jet engine experiments of the past also highlighted the importance of safety in rail technology. The tragic end of the aero wagon underscored the need for stringent safety measures, a lesson that has been deeply ingrained in the development of modern high-speed trains. The story of jet-powered trains is more than just a tale of audacious engineering. It's a tribute to human ingenuity, a testament to our constant yearning to push boundaries and reach new frontiers. The story of jet-powered trains underscores the power of innovation and the relentless pursuit of speed. From the aero wagon to the American turbojet train, the journey of jet engines on rails has been one of innovation, challenges, and relentless pursuit of speed. We've traveled through time, from the early 20th century to the swinging 60s, witnessing the fusion of aeronautics and locomotion. We've seen the aero wagon's tragic end, the rail zeppelin's impressive run, and the turbojet trains of the Soviet Union and America pushing the boundaries of speed. These bold experiments, though faced with high fuel consumption and safety issues, were stepping stones towards our modern high-speed rail lines and maglev trains. 
the spirit of innovation that fueled these historic endeavors continues to drive the evolution of rail technology today. So, as we conclude this journey, we invite you to continue exploring with us. Remember to like, subscribe and share our video. Your support helps us bring more fascinating stories like this to you. Until next time, keep exploring the amazing world of technology.